so now we have the tray and we're gonna put the housing on it and then attach extra arms and clamps for underwater strobes or video lights Okay, now we can proceed to attaching arms and clamps to it. Basic clamp is working like that. You loosen it, you put one ball here, another ball here, in such manner, and then you tighten it. This can be done away from you or close to you whichever is more comfortable then we proceed to the next one doing the same thing we loosen the clamp so both bolts can fit and attach it to the tray then using our hand, we clamp, we clamp it together. And as we are holding, we start tightening. Okay. Now it's tight and secure. And then we can add some more things we also have a triple clamp this is for example you add it in the same position then you can have extra extension of another arm with uh, another strobe or another video light and split clamp which allows you to use the arm in a different angle so just for demonstration I'll show you now this arm cannot go this way But if we change to this clamp, and repeat the same steps of tightening, now this arm can go not only this way, but also like this. Then you can proceed to attach uh, other accessories or extend your, your rig forward. Because for underwater video, you want to have as much distance from your lens as possible for taking pictures. So there's more area for the strobe to capture. So to continue, uh, we want to attach some other accessories or extend the arms. In this case, we will be using the carbon fiber float arm. Okay. like that and another one here but of course underwater you would want to extend them like that like the wings and use them as further as possible unless you are doing macro photography in which case you want them to be close
and to this pole end you add another clamp to which you attach either a strobe or an underwater video light whichever one you are using that is how to assemble the rig